a day for France. Today, the Republic of France is the center of the world. After days of fear and tension, the people of the country exploded into a march of over a million souls, not mourning, but joyous. This is a mass demonstration, a spirit of the people of Paris and the entire nation. Incredible. With a song, Le Marseille, the spirit of the people is reflected by expressions such as, we are Charlie, nous sommes Charlie, je suis juif, we are Jews, and other such expressions. That march against hate in the center of Paris is a demonstration for life and for the freedom of expression also. The people of France, marvelous. From Incarceration Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio. Oh yeah, <laughs> black sun in the hizzle, oh for shizzle dizzle. We got an excellent show here today, but first I want to say the views and opinions and that of Comcast does not reflect its staff, its associates or affiliates. With that being said, viewer discretion is advised, and the views and opinions of Black Sun does not reflect that of the arena, and the views and opinions of White Sun does not reflect that of Black Sun in the arena. <laughs> <laughs> we are counsel. <laughs> to my right, I want to end. To my right, good Lord, I, I, you know, to my right. That's okay. Okay. To my right, he's, he's got him. this is, no, to my, you got to be kidding me, right? That's all right. That's no, it's not. not all right. Can we get a but switch? We Can we get a switch? switch? There we go. Can we get a switch to his right? All right, right to my right, Thank Gideon, you know. our, our resident <laughs> elder eight, uh, terrorist. <laughs> Peace and blessings from the creator, Yah, and his anointed son, Yeshua. Definitely. How you doing? Y'all know me. It's your man, Vincent Cheeks. Humanist, activist, entertainer, you know what time it is. Welcome to the Arena Uncensored. To my right. And to your right. What's going on is Brother Yanga. Uh, represent, glad to be here, man. Looking forward to the show. Let's get it on. Sit down. Mariam, I got you, Ukti. Sit down right <laughs> I got you, sister. I got you. Holding you down, man. You know we're going to represent for Islam, inshallah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all of us religious, all us people of faith out here. We got my man Gideon on. We ready, man. Let's do it's it. It's on, so, baby. It's on and it, popping. You got the oldest terrorists in the <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, quick announcement real quick. Of course, uh, we changed the name to the Arena Uncensored. Please remember that. Hit us up on YouTube at the Arena Uncensored. Hit us on Twitter, the Arena Uncensored. And if you want to call into the show, please give us a call at 770-599-2999. Cool deal. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. We got a pretty uh, heated topic for the day. Sensitive topic, even. That's right. Um... It's basically surrounding Muslims. There's this anti-Muslim sentiment going on around the country and around the world, around the world. Uh, if you will. Uh, but specifically today, we're going to talk about the attack that happened in Paris on January 7th That's right. at the offices of Charlie Hebdo. Now, Charlie Hebdo is a satirical magazine. It stands for Charlie Weekly. Yes, sir. <clears throat> it's a satirical magazine that... Uh, they did some satire about the Prophet Muhammad. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and also about Jesus and Buddha. Mm -hmm. But the attack, the attack was centered on the okay. fact that they insulted the Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. um, it happened January 7th, basically 11.30 in the morning. Two brothers, Sharif and Saeed Kouachi, uh, they went into the Charlie Abdo offices and they basically killed 12 people. Uh, they went in, they were shouting, we have avenged the Prophet the Prophet Muhammad and God is great. Um, they eventually fled in a vehicle, crashed the vehicle, um, and then 
fled to the outskirts of Paris where they were eventually taken down by uh, the police. They were killed at a printing shop on the outskirts of Paris uh, in a shootout with the police. Okay. Um, <clears throat> which is basically what they wanted because they did tell media that they wanted to be martyrs mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. for the cause. I see. Um, and so that brings us to the discussion, uh, <laughs> Muslims, mm -hmm. to fear or not to fear. So we're going to get into that bait, talk about the attacks. Anybody want to jump in? Let's get started. Um, you want to go first, Yanga? Because I, I, I like to say it. Let me, let me just say this for the record. You know, because we were supposed to have Miriam on here. My intentions is not to insult Islam. Right. Mm -hmm. My intentions are not to defend Islam. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. My intentions are to question Islam because... I've been told by <laughs> Arab Muslims, former Arab Muslims, apostates okay. in this country, they have told me in secret that the mission of Muslims is to insert Sharia Allah worldwide. So okay. therefore, if <clears throat> Sharia Allah is to be inserted, I as a human have a human right to question it. Okay. And so, what better place than the arena? Than the arena. <laughs> right. I say two things to address. First, I think that you stated it. You say, first let me say this for Islam. Islam makes no distinction in ethnicity. Okay. Um, so that's the first thing. That's why there is no images of the Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salam, present peace be upon Muhammad, nor that of Allah. So Islam makes no distinction in ethnicity. This is, and we're talking theological. We're not okay. talking about what really happens in real life. We're talking about Theological. Secondly, okay. when well, you said it absolutely right, you're talking about Muslims who have apostated who live in America, right. who have succumbed to all of the diseases, the immorality, the depravity, and things <laughs> like that. And in order to appease their guilt and their conscience for turning away from the Lord, turning away from a righteous path, they have condemned the, the that path. And to say this and, and and to say this and pass it on. Islam is one of the only religions that is judged by the practices of of the partitionists. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Nobody goes out and condemns Christianity when the Ku Klux Klan will drag right. a black man out of the house and burn a cross in your yard. Okay. Nobody says that Christianity is a terrorist religion. Nobody says Christianity ter is a terrorist religion when Timothy McVeigh, who is clearly a Christian, right. bombs a federal building. Right. But when you have a, uh, let's just say, an over uh practitioner of Islam, right, right. you know what I'm saying? Or I'm not going to judge that, bro that brother's causes. faith or that right. sister's faith. Right. But from what their interpretation of the Quran, the Sunnah of Muhammad, Islam, whatever they interpret that and whatever their actions, Islam is one of the only religions I know that is condemned based on the actions of the people who profess it. Okay. Your Honor, <clears throat> Christianity is not on trial here today. Mm -hmm. But it's relevant. Right. It's re it is relevant to this point. Because Give me that cap. <laughs> <laughs> it is relevant to the point because uh, to your point about the KKK, when I was doing my research, and a lot of the research was demonizing Islam and, and just condemning a lot of things that they do, the first thing that popped into my head was, well, they always talk about radical Islam, but they never talk about radical Christianity, exactly. which would be the KKK, mm -hmm. in my opinion, because mm -hmm. everything the KKK does from its inception was in the name of God mm -hmm. and in the name of Jesus and Christianity. Mm -hmm. And so I can definitely see the parallel. The white Christian identity movement. Right. So you know, I can see the parallel plenty. that you're trying to make. But I think with this Charlie Hebdo situation in Paris, what people really want to know about Islam is why why do Muslims get so offended when there are pictures of the Prophet Muhammad, Muhammad excuse me, uh, published? Like, I don't think, I think as Americans and Westerners in mm -hmm. general, like, who the, have, the scope who, who of don't that, hold anything sacred. <laughs> exactly. No, we have that human the, right. The, but no, the, I mean, you don't hold anything sacred. America, we've come over here westernized. We are a, a people who practice the most uh, uh, such debauchery that is. It's but ridiculous. that's our human right, though, Yang. We is should have the right. To 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 eat pork sandwiches. Okay. Watch pornography. Nobody said. Nobody and eat said. Eat jello that. pudding pops. No 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 one, is, no one is. Okay, no one is. No one is. No one is. No one is. No one. No one is questioning that. That that's America's rights. What happens in America? You have to understand that what America does. America is in nationally is capitalism. Internationally is imperialism. Okay. America's greatest export is is immorality. Mm -hmm. When you look at the when you look at the when you look at the Islamic world. 
these worlds, they're not saying so much that they hate Western. You're talking about a people who have lived a certain way for 1,400 years. They're saying, we don't want, you can eat pork. We don't want you to come and impose your pork on us. Mm -hmm. We don't want your pornography. We don't want your gang banging in our streets. Mm -hmm. We don't want your crack cocaine. We don't want all of these things in our streets. We have been fine living this way, but you come under the guise of human rights to tell us that we're oppressing our women, that they have a right to watch uh, pornography on the team. They have a right to do this. Human rights is only relevant as long as you don't infringe on other people's rights. Who sets the level of human rights? Europeans? The ones with the goddamn nukes. Ex exactly. Yeah. So that's not human rights at all. It's, it's exactly. So who's God the terrorist? Placed, hold on. So who's the terrorist? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. God is what? He's placed us in charge. That's why we have the weapons, because we have lived righteously. Mm -hmm. That's why we're the ones with the weapons. That's why we're the ones with the scientists. That's why we, that's why Muslims, Arab Muslims, flee here. They don't flee to other Muslim countries. Isn't that true, Vince? There are a certain percentage that, I wouldn't say it's a great percentage. Can uh, we get the numbers, please? It's probably about 10 to 11 percent of Muslims worldwide. Even though the U.S. population, the, the Muslim population in the United States is 1% of the total global population of Muslims, which is 23%. So <coughs> there are roughly, there are 1.6 billion Muslims globally. Okay. And about 5 million reside in the United States. So are you saying that, now I want to know specifics. Do a higher percentage flee their country and come here or go to other Arab Muslim countries. That's all I want to know. Like, which percentage is higher? Well, it depends on what you mean by fleeing. What do you mean? Are they fleeing a situation, or are they just leaving their country to come to the United States? I don't know. I guess both. I wouldn't. The the percentage of them coming here is is lower, oh. but there there is a great percentage of them that do come to America, which I don't understand because if we're the land of so the heathens, the land and of the pork eaters. You got right. exactly. I don't right. really want to say we. Look at the I ones. I'm sorry. Go ahead, brother. Well, I need pork. Not, look not at the pork. ones. Look at the ones who. First of all, we have to look at the ones who flee here. That's the first question you have to ask. Like you were sitting there talking about the apostates and the people who condemn Islam. Mm -hmm. So you have to look at the people, the uh, 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 so-called mm -hmm. Muslim. I'm not going to say because if they apostate, they're not Muslim. The people who come over here and flee here. Let's but let me say it. this: Have you ever been to Dearborn, Michigan? No. No. Nobody's no. been to Little Arabia. Okay. The signs ain't ever. So when they flee here, when they come here, if they were so accepting of this culture, they wouldn't create their own yeah, enclaves. I mean, they wouldn't create culture. Islamic enclaves with right. their own culture, their own food, their own dress, and this and that. They come, a lot of them come here, maybe to get this, uh, to get back some of what this country has usurped from other countries, to get some of this wealth and send it back. I don't know what their reasoning is, but you can tell that it is not full. They don't seek full inclusion because they go to Dearborn, Michigan. Go to the places okay. where they get their own little enclaves. I, I want to get back to the uh, original question that I asked you a minute ago, and then okay. we're going to get you yeah. here, Brother Gideon, also. Um, get the people to understand why it is that uh, Muslims, Muslim Americans in general, get so enraged when there are things written and published about the Prophet Muhammad. Muslims. You, you're saying Muslims. Um, let me say this, because we're on, you know, national television, and no way do, as a Muslim, and I mean, most Muslims that I know, condone anything that people will refer as terrorism and this okay. and that, and so we can okay. declare, when we're speaking clearly from the religion of Islam, <laughs> one of the things that we stay away from the image, and imagery of the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salam, is because we don't want done, he said in his in his death was quoted, okay, call it something to this effect, don't do unto me as they had done my brother Jesus. Okay. Don't deify me. Don't make these images and things of this nature because what ends up happening is when they do that, then the message, it doesn't, we no longer concentrate on the message, but the ethnicity in this. Uh, and I say this right. for black Muslims, so called, you know, so called black Muslims that even go, well, Prophet Muhammad was black. If you got to go through all that stuff to justify why you, you know, following a message in a man, right. then you're in the wrong. You know and what I'm saying? I agree so with that. That's, that's why. And some people hold, we hold the message of the Prophet Muhammad and his example, which is the son that we hold him sacred. Now, to what extent some people will go to defend that, only right. Allahu Akbar, Allah, 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 Allah knows best. Go ahead, go yeah, ahead. Vince, you're, you're, you're just so one, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah. What happens to Muslims when they leave Islam? Let's get down to it. In Islamic countries? 
An apostate in, in the religion in the religion of Islam, an apostate, there's no apostation. Apostation is death. Okay, that's number one. My second question is uh, Muslim communities. You mm -hmm. know, you got the enclaves here. You know, we let you guys practice your We religion. let. <laughs> we let. God knows how, how God said. Now who's the, I ask again, who's the terrorist? You Ooh. see, we let you. Anybody, we let you have, do who's your a thing. Anybody white man declares a terrorist yeah. is a terrorist. It's just yeah, exactly. that simple. But that, we it, got the goods. But that's exactly. But that, I mean, let's examine that, white okay. son or whatever. Okay. Let's let's literally <laughs> examine that. Come in. Let's examine. So, isn't that terrorism? If I'm I'm, I'm on such a serious note, Mr. Nigger, you're going to razzle dazzle the guests here. I got another question for <laughs> no, you. Let him ask a question. Let that's that's my question. question. I'm all waiting right, for an answer. Right. Let, let, him, let him ask the question. Yeah, my, my, I'm waiting on answers, like you said. That supremacist attitude, that Western, you wonder why they say Kabir al-Shaitan, the big devil. It's the supremacist attitude. It's not, Islam is a promoter of human life. The word Islam in itself means peace. Okay, so what about the people who don't want Islam? How do you, how do you that's, propose? That's, that's on it. We don't, Islam is not, Allah says in the Quran, or okay, call it what can be translated to mean in English, something to the effect. Because okay. it's not verbatim. Okay. But something to this effect. There is no compulsion in religion. You can't be forced into Islam. We can't compose you. That's why Islam means peace. What? Muslim is one who is submitted. Peace means uh, uh, that that you want force. That this is okay. This is something that I choose to do. So, how do we get to the point of radical Islam? What is radical Islam? I don't I even mean, know what that is. Let me give you an example. Let me give you a good example. In the Sudan, there is a woman, a Sudanese woman, who has went to court. And they said, the judge, and this is not even a theocratic country, but apparently I guess they did. The point of my making is that they said, you will denounce your religion and convert back to Islam or you, we are going to kill you, execute you. She said, I was never a Muslim. I was never a Muslim. So, again, Yanga, mm -hmm. I'm saying this, and I'm saying this to the Muslim world because I learned that the, 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 the well, let me ask this question. Is it the duty of every Muslim to impose worldwide Sharia law? Yes or no? Is it the duty of every Muslim? Yes. No. Okay. No. Allah says the duty, he says, Woman khalaq to jinnah wa lansani la ili ya'abadu. I have not created jinn and man except to worship me. That's the duty of every Muslim, to worship God. Did you okay. want to come in, Brother Gideon? Gideon. Brother what is the key? What hold is on, the key? Hold on, hold on. Let right. Brother Gideon jump in here. Come on, bro. Oh, yeah. You got a whole panel up here. Well, it's interesting, and uh, peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad. And uh, I am a, I'm a Hebrew. I'm a Jew. Okay. But I'm an aspiring Muslim because it, a Muslim is one who submits to the will of his creator. Mm -hmm. And I'm aspiring because I haven't totally submitted to it. My flesh is still. The Muslim community and the Hebrew community, we are one. Because we understand Islam the issues. don't need you, Gideon. You both, you both, you'll be the worst goddamn Muslim. <laughs> goddamn, yeah. we're gonna make sure. Absolutely. Make sure you keep an eye on Gideon in case he converts. I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, at the end of the day, the question that he asked about the prophet uh, is related to the quality of morality that comes out of the Islamic faith. Gideon, let me okay. just ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Your Bible talks about idol worship. Yes, sir. Okay, and it says to worship no man. Exactly. Okay. Right. So, Hebrew Israelites and Muslims cannot coexist. Certainly, we because can. Because Muslims, some Muslims, I'm not saying you ain't good, mm -hmm. but some Muslims see Prophet Muhammad as this perfect human being. Well, some Hebrews see mm -hmm. uh, Elder Ben Amin as a per mm -hmm. see. There have right. always been forerunners and okay. leaders yeah. and those who have promoted. The righteous principles of a particular. But do we kill in the name of Bill I mean, Do we kill in the name of the Prophet Muhammad? Absolutely. Do we kill? Over, oh, absolutely. See what I'm well, would you have to look at? That? I mean, that's a what I don't understand. Please get me to understand why. Eric McVeigh, the Unabomber. Timothy, exactly. Timothy, Timothy McVeigh. Exactly. Okay. Uh, see, it? these are individuals that kill because of their Christian belief. Mm -hmm. And then when you look at the uh, people who We're bombed asking the. asking you, Gideon. 
Yes, sir. Is, is it okay to kill over an ideology? We're yes, talking sir. about human life here. Yes, sir. It happens it every, everything. It happens it every day. Happen. It is so hypocritical. It is so hypocritical for a country that would go in there and depose rulership, depose. In fact, they don't recognize democratically elected Hamas. Right. They would go depose leadership for an American ideology. Exactly. And then when people defend their way of life and they right. defend their ideology yes. to label them terrorists. Exactly. See, the terror is the, those individuals who are intolerant of others. And see, on one level, you say that's freedom of speech. But then when I talk about my belief and when I want in the educational system right. here in America, my culture right. promoted, they say, well, no, <laughs> you can't have your culture promoted. It's only if it ain't white, it ain't right. But your culture so, promotes the theocracy, Gideon. Well, His what, culture promotes the theocracy. But what we're talking about in uh, the Christian American educational system mm where we have been forced into, this. we cannot oh. have our culture promoted. Exactly. Okay, let me make a point. Does your religion consider democracy a sin, Gideon? Absolutely. Okay. It is demonic. Does the practice of Islam consider democracy a sin, Yanka? Uh, I think when you go to different governments, see, I, I mean, when you look at different governments, uh, they run different ways. You know what I'm saying? They run different ways. It's running. It's, no, really. I mean, I can't. I can't say because when you oh, look let's at. Let's give you specific. Does with like I think now, Ahmad Dajinajad is the president of. I think that he was elected, but they have a council of Moto, uh, uh, Imama. I okay, think right. the Shiite call them this. You look at uh, Saudi Arabia; they still got a monarchy. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you know, one of the things the beauty about Islam is the adaptability. But I think that there is. What Islam provides is a more ethical check. It's like you said, if I live in a country of, um, you know, I'm not so knocking homosexual or whatever, but if I live in a country of a majority homosexual, because they're the majority and they pass some laws that I don't like or this and that, then they have the right to do. Only, you know what, don't, let me say this, and I'm going to pass. Because we've, been, because we've been born in America where any type of thing we want Mm -hmm. Has been given to us, or at least the illusion. God right. bless America. Right. Right. The illusion. The right. illusion that has God been given bless America. It's hard for us to understand mm -hmm. a people mm -hmm. that want to live a moral exactly. and ethical life. Well, let me just say this. In the judicial oh, system, oh, 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 okay. just when, uh, let's say, a Hebrew sister, okay. and she wants to have her head covered going in court, mm -hmm. in the system that claims to promote freedom, they she cannot. Or if a brother who's a Hebrew, and I've gone to court, they have allowed me to keep my head covering on. But most men, unless they have whatever, I guess some type of uh, political action group behind them or something, I don't. Right. But they are not allowed. So when America talks about these, what America is attacking when they attack Islam How is what we? they're attacking is families, intact families. They're attacking the right not to eat swine and keep Degenerate, Gideon, perverse Gideon, food. Gideon. But you're, here you are. You 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 just said that ideology trumps human life. So I don't want to hear that. You're saying human life trumps ideology. Listen to what you're saying. But doesn't America America shows us no, that no, they don't show us that every day? We're here, right. nigga. We're Think here. about it. We're Think here. about it. Man, man, ideology man. doesn't trump. Look at okay. I'm gonna tell you how ideology I'm trumps. Talking about us, Free Mumi Abu Jamal. Right. 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 Exactly. Free Matula Shakur. That's right. right. Hands off Asada. Right. Right. Ideology. Right. Over their human life. They promote, America has said, because they have a different ideology, ideology. Right. that they are a danger and a threat, and that they right. should be either contained right. for right. life right. or uh, uh, massacred or killed. But look at the luck. You know, for my king, Yeshua, when he walked the earth during the time of Tiberius Caesar, never killed anyone, taught peace, healed people, and he was killed. When we look at uh, Marcus Messiah Garvey. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. When you talk finish. about Marcus Messiah Garvey, he came... <laughs> He, he, they, what you and some other people say, if you don't like America, you can leave. Yeah. What he did, he got our people together. Right. We started buying ships. Right. And the leave. first thing, we started leaving. Right. And then what they, you can't go. You a slave. And then what they did, what they, yes, they, and then they locked him up look and they Liberia. deported him. Look at Liberia. Yeah, look at Liberia. Exactly. Like, in right. wait, laying in waste. They left, though. But laying in waste. Okay. Who? Let me get Jeez. back to this. Let's please, this, please. What you just said a minute ago about having the right to kill over an ideology. Thank you. Yes, sir. Because that's the part that I don't get. I don't know mm -hmm. a lot about Islam. I haven't mm -hmm. studied it. You know about gangbanging, though. Um, <laughs> but I went on a site, and it showed 
just about all those satirical magazines mm -hmm. that uh, Charlie Hebdo has done. Mm -hmm. And they attack everybody on there from Jews to Muslims to Christians. Mm -hmm. uh, they had President Obama right, uh, yeah. as a monkey. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the funniest one to me, they had a woman in stirrups mm -hmm. that was supposed to be uh, Mary, Mary mm -hmm. and she was shooting baby Jesus mm -hmm. out of her like a projectile. Mm -hmm. And I found it to be hilarious. Now, I, I believe in Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? How but did the I Catholic don't... community find it to be? Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. This is why. Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. All right. My point is, I believe in Jesus. God, he's my father. But when I started following that path, there was nothing in me or on that path that said, if anybody goes against the grain against what you believe, then you have the right to kill them. And, and, and as a matter of fact, it's made me a more peaceful person because I don't even like violence anymore. I don't want exactly. to see it. I don't want to be around right. it. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. all due to the spiritual path that I chose. Well, let me to ask walk. you this, Vince. So how does it get to a point where these other theocracies... And let me ask you this. What happens to a bully? What, ha what does a bully do? You, you, you. A bully bullies until he meets someone who's you not going to tolerate bully, right. him. You can't bully, so right. what happened, what Islam is saying... America and this freedom of speech, that's like the bully talk about your mama, the bully go and hit you in the head, the bully does everything until he finds the one that's not. Now, in my religious belief as a Hebrew, a follower of Yah, okay. he said, vengeance is mine, I will repay. However, Peter, when they came to get Yahshua, he had a sword. And when he went in on the centurions, he cut one's ear off. Sure, the Messiah said, hold. Don't fight. Now is not the time. Heal the man. So I understand what you're saying. Peace is the way. Yeah. But at the end of the day, when you look at somebody who's promoted nothing but war, killing, pestilence, disease, and destroying the air, the water, the food, sooner or later they're going to have to be stopped, and it's going to be stopped by war. Then stop driving well, your let, car. Stop let, driving let, your let car. Me say this. Let me say this. It's one of the things, first of all, and I think that that's one of the problems us as Africans here in America uh, exhibit. Like you said, they had this picture of Obama as a monkey. This, that we should be outraged. Am I saying that we should go take well, some heads? Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a satirical magazine, yeah, but though. This is, we should be, listen, we should be outraged that our image is defamed and that we're placed and put around the world as any type. I can place it as our man. apathy. I'm going to tell you why we should okay, be outraged. Okay, okay. Let me tell you why. Because right. it's our apathy, it's our lack of outrage at anything that keeps us in the position that we're in now. Now, now let me say this. Let me say this. If you have a person of faith, like I go back to the beginning, Islam, it teaches us, you know, be firm, guard your faith. But if you have a person, that's like the Christians that don't go to a church, they're going to pray. The little boy fall out, they ain't going to take him to the church, they're going to lay hands on him, they're going to pray right there. Right. You know, some people would say that's extreme. That's radicalism. You have some people of the Islamic faith whose faith may have superseded mine or whatever. I'm not going to condone or condemn their actions. Okay. I'm going to say that's between them and their Lord. But whose faith may have been at such a level that they did what they did. Right. How is Islam put on trial because some of its, because some of its uh, uh, practitioners? Mm -hmm. No other religion is put on trial because the practitioners have done some things that other that the world seemed to be a deemed terrorist. Mm -hmm. Because Christianity allows us to indulge in our sins there. So exactly. <laughs> and it, it, exactly. It don't claim to be righteous. Exactly. Yeah, it, it does. Is, it does. This is, this is my does. point that I was making. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. If we're interacting, mm -hmm. and I tell you that I'm about to tell you a joke, and you say, okay, let me hear the joke. And then I tell you the joke, and then you get mad and punch me in the face, why? I've because told you, you, I've told me, you before. You didn't tell me it was a joke, joke about my mama. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> well, if you say, I'm going to tell you a joke about your mama, I, don't. No, I don't even want to hear it. But, but if you say, let me tell you a joke, wow. your mama, soon we start off. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that's barbaric. Okay. It's not about that's barbaric. Okay, no. I mean, that's he a valid question. That's a valid question. Right, right, right. That's a valid point. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, now, this magazine, when I'm doing my research, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I could understand if this magazine was strictly talking about the Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. But they weren't. They talk about any and everybody across the board. And the mm -hmm. point you were making about Obama Obama, and not getting upset about that is if if I know it's a joke going into it, why do I 
want to exert that energy getting mad but, about it when I already know the angle that they're coming because from. like they told me like they say they're they gonna know you by your teeth because Negroes always shucking and driving and smiling and laughing everything's a joke but hold on, sometimes you tell the joke like mm-hmm. Gideon said sometimes you tell the joke to the person that don't play but yeah. hold, sometimes hold you tell the joke to the person that don't laugh but yeah mm-hmm. I'm glad you said that because where I'm from it's simple you know because I have Relatives that went from Selma, mm-hmm. where the goddamn they cracked, you know, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And so we got to say in the South Central, don't put your hands on me. Right. So, so I don't agree with what you're saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, because I've had people mm-hmm. say the N word and all that stuff, but you ain't going to put your hands on me. Right. So I have a different way of looking but at it. But that's that. what I'm saying. But look how, so don't, don't, don't look, look look how now production. you used to be a banger. I've seen people lose their lives for yeah. the word, and for I, a derogatory I term against I another gangbanger. Exactly. I condemn it. You know what I'm saying? For another gang, so and so, so and so. Right. You know what I'm saying? When we get to the point of, like well, I we, said, we, we if we got to the point, and I'm not knocking some, I love what our civil rights people did for us, but when we got to the point, if we let them know that that nigga word didn't fly, right. how many times would somebody outside your race or whatever use the nigga word? Exactly. If you, you start chin checking, if you, but I'm saying from the beginning, if you start chin checking that yeah. white boy for using the nigga word, see, we yeah, gotta get no, out of no, this. No, 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 no. But if you take that same nigga word that you're using, mm-hmm. you, I have taken the power. From that word. So there's right. nothing that right. anybody can absolutely. say using that absolutely. word or any other word absolutely. that is going to affect me. Absolutely, because we've been trained to do that. But the point we've been trained to do that. We live in a police state. Man. I can make exactly. We got, to, we got to be smart. Man. I can use the same, I can make that same kind of statement by not letting that same word affect me and continuing going because about we've been that. Trained. We've you been know trained. how many brothers we've, could be alive today we've, we've been because trained. they want to whoop them we, the- we, we, We've been trained to do that. You know how many, but I'm going to tell you something. It's not about, we, I'm going to tell you why we've been trained to do that. We've trained, we've been trained to be apathetic and complacent mm-hmm. and scared to fight back. No, this is one of the no, things that made, no, let me tell you no, something. No, 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 this, is, this, is, no. this is one of the things. It's, it's, and it's, and it's, and I shouldn't say everybody, but it's what you it's deem, it's what you deem, it's like what you said, that attitude that, I've learned to take the power to sting out it. Like you said, how many brothers died? But how many brothers died, their lives were senseless mm-hmm. because behind that shed of blood, behind that bloodshed, there was no either political action, economic action, or social action with you. to take place with that. Let me ask this I'm question. With you, Why was Martin Luther King killed? Name he was trying reasons. to do too much for too many people. Mainly, uh, Who did he kill? Changed the Nobody. economy. He didn't kill Why anybody. was Malcolm X killed? Same thing. Same Who did he kill? Nobody. Too many people. So he, he words, the, the point exactly. that's being made is words have an impact that's like a fish. That's your yes. belief. No, that's, that's the reality. Your belief, man. That's that your is, belief, man. Look at domestic violence. Domestic violence starts not with hitting. It starts with what? Starts words. With words. So words are very volatile. They're mm. important. They make an impact like a fist. And as a matter of fact, words can be more violent than a now, fist yeah. now, because there are children who would rather I'm have their parents beat them than talk to them about what they did wrong and I how they did now, it. I disagree. The point you're ahead, making man. about words is very powerful. And for me, I'm going to put it this way. Charlie Hebdo, the magazine, if they know that them publishing pictures of the Prophet Muhammad or what have you, it's going to cause this type of backlash, then why not step away from that particular you know why? philosophy? Because they not. Let me answer that question. Number one, you ain't going to talk about landmass and culture, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so if the Prophet Muhammad instructed that for the Muslims in their land, then that's fine. But you're coming over to France. You're coming over to America. We have been living on the freedom of speech, and we will fight you, people exactly. to their grave. You know, We've and, never and been let, free. You know what? Our let me speech say this. has never let been free. This. Let me say this. Well, this, is why, this freedom, is, let me say this. This is why I have to respect Charlie, uh, what's Abdul. 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 Because exactly what you're saying. It was gangster. Mm. You know, like they say, you know the job was dangerous before you took it. Yeah, right. right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So right. if you're going to continue to do that, you know the consequence is going to come with it. Mm-hmm. That's just the bottom line. And if you join Islam and leave, you know the consequence. That's just like Pos- going up Pos- in the jailhouse. Talking about you, the baddest yeah. nigga that on the deck. You just stepped in. <laughs> yeah. You coming in like uh, your boy, who is that? Uh, Eddie, uh, not Eddie Murphy, uh, uh, the comic. And this white boy, they go in jail talking, we bad, yeah, we bad. Yeah, and, and see, yeah, 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 Richard Rob. I'm seeing a double standard You here. can't. No, no, How's it a I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a double standard because the people of France 
can't should be allowed because that is they their country. They're allowed to do it. Yeah, but there are consequences. Nobody's stopping them to do it. There are consequences. What you're, what you're saying, though, you know what? what you're saying, you want them to be punks. They were telling you. I'm not saying like, it was punks. like it was a standoff. You, exactly. If no, you're I'm saying, saying man, listen, do what you if do somebody in tell you, exactly, if somebody tells you, <clears throat> don't talk about my mama. Right. Well, I'm going to say what I want to say about your mama. I can't stop you right. from talking about my mama. But right. I told you Don't what's going to happen about, exactly. if you talk about my mama. Exactly. So who's going to be the punk? Right. So, 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 exactly. So, exactly. So, exactly. So let me ask a oh. question. Mohammed's so, instructions so. were for non-Muslims. For what you mean? They're, they're not don't don't draw pictures of Muhammad. He didn't give that, that instruction. He didn't get. He didn't say Muhammad alayhi salam. He said don't make an image of him. He didn't okay, say. So that's for he the said Muslims. exactly. He didn't say go out. Exactly. He said he so didn't that's say. Not he said he didn't say go out. The Prophet Muhammad. Let me clear up. I know what Prophet Muhammad alayhi salam. He didn't say go out and kill nobody if somebody draw an image of me. He told us what not to do and what to. And if we interpret that that we're going to keep that in check, we don't want no images. Then that's what it is. We if, if the Muslim if those brothers say hey don't draw no image. A prophet Muhammad. It's for Muslim, non-Muslim, whatever. If that's my prophet, like it's my mama. Right. If I tell you don't talk about my mama, mm -hmm. and you're going to do what do you want to anyway, do anyway, there you go. there it is. Now, let me show you how this works in the biblical uh, text as a Hebrew. The scripture says you can talk about the Messiah. You can talk about brethren. Yeah. Right. You can do, but if you speak against the Ruach HaKodesh, don't the Holy that. Spirit, then you is, are, it's called blasphemy. And blasphemy means there is for no forgiveness. Right, for now, believers. Right, it is obviously for believers. Right, and I but the point that is, what you're saying. But the see, point is Islam that Islam goes out of that realm. But How? the point is huh? that if you talk uh -huh. on those circumstances, there are going to be consequences. So that's in my face. So Islamists believe that there are actions and factions that are zealots for their belief. And they this are letting, it. putting the world on notice that if you talk about our belief and mm -hmm. our the one that we call our creator, there are going to be consequences. Well, okay, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Gideon, I'm cool with your belief saying, you know what, if I deny the Holy Spirit that I'm not going to make it into heaven, I'm cool with that. Understood. Right. Yes, sir. But see, the Muslims cross into earth realm. Because mm -hmm. we live on earth. Right. Okay, so let Allah avenge all that thing. No, we don't know. That you ain't, that, that we ain't Christians. Uh, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. You're right. Well, we live right. on the earth. It's going to be some rules and some regulations right. down here on this earth. It's going to be some regulating. Right. Right. And I'm saying what I'm saying. And what, and what I'm saying. Because I, I, I'm going to say this again. I have a problem with Islam. And most got red blood Americans have a problem with Absolutely. Islam. Well, you impose that in our government. It's not, and it's, it is your duty as a Muslim to oppose to impose But what about what white impo imposes on us? Exactly. Here, they, they, exactly. They're exactly. imposing <laughs> death. They are killing our children. <laughs> yeah. They are part there in there. Yeah, Michael, Michael <laughs> John Brown, no. Eric Gardner. Exactly. Uh, come on. We, what, what impositions, what impositions have the Muslims realistically? See, what we have got caught up into is that America has to have an enemy. It has exactly. to justify its wars. Exactly. It has to justify this hatred. That's right. This, this climate. Me, me, so jump. what impositions realistically so, have Muslims made on America that America has in place, not just on its citizens, but the world? Let That's me right. Okay, let me exactly. tell you. Let me tell you, Angel. When you have a Muslim community, right? Yeah. And your Muslims say it is our religious right, meaning they can kill a goddamn apostate, and I'm like, I'm not with that. I'm not with right. y'all yeah. coming on this land, goddamn imposing your ideology. Well, see, the Muslims, they're not saying no. that. I'm okay. saying that okay. there are That's factions within the Muslim uh, belief, just like in the Hebrew community, they were called zealots. Yeah. And those individuals are not acting on the Muslim doctrine. They're okay. acting on the yeah, inspiration okay. directly from the exactly. creator okay, so that, so that imposes that yeah. Yeah. death how do I know, how do I know on that? those. How do I know that? Well, so well they're because of what they do. Your you. belief, right? Man, come you're on, separating man. Islam from radical, radical Islam. I'm saying that there are with, factions. With the you just made. It's, yes, it's, sir. It's, 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 just like in the Hebrew basically, community. It's basically well, what he's saying. It's, it's like what he's saying. You, okay. Because Ben Shapiro, he estimates, he's American, mm -hmm. he estimates that 800 million Muslims are radical. That's basically mm. half... What is Muslim what population. is radical? Radical. Right. radical. 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 When you tell me tell you something. When you're talking radical to when you're talking to people from a secular nation who has taken something as sacred as Christendom, 
You know what I'm saying? Which is which and has 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 brought it instead Not of being mayors. instead of being men of God, they have made God a man and brought him down to the lowest level. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To where they do anything, party all Saturday night, mm -hmm. go to church. And they when you talk to you and right, you ain't good. But wait a minute now. Let me show you one thing. So, Let me show you one thing how the Europeans do it. And they claim that we're terrorists. Why are we putting the exactly. Europeans on well, trial? because yeah. wait a minute, I'm talking about nine. Europeans are coming up. Wait a minute, who are we talking about? Wait a minute, let's talk about death. Let's talk about death. We talk about 9/11. 9/11 okay. killed thousands and thousands of their own people right here on American soil, and it's been proven that's, that it was an inside job based on the that's radical lism. Uh, it knew. No, no, no. change. What I'm saying is this: Forget about the white man, okay? Forget about the Arabs. I'm okay. coming to you as men right now. Okay. Gideon, right, right. Vince, yeah. Yeah. Yanga, right, right, okay? Right. okay? Mm -hmm. We're here today on the arena. Right. I'm saying that putting ideology over human life is wrong on anything, even the black nationalism, Yanga. It, it, if you, it is wrong. If you, I don't care if I die today. Put, I, that's I how I'm going to kill If you put right. ideology, I, I do have to if, you, if you infringing on anybody's you know, right to existence, I don't believe in infringing on anybody's right to existence, but this is what I'm telling you. I will not let a devil Hmm. Come and tell me what radicalism is. Right. What is your stance? Wait a minute. Hold on. 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 Because your standards of righteousness is so far off. How many people? How many people? Hold on. Hold on. Let me tell you. Especially. Let me say this. Hold on. Let me finish that. Especially and no, especially an atheist. Right. You you can't. Because anything could be radical. You can see, right, I used right. to pray, when I was very heavy in my street, when what it was time for prayer, hold on, when I was very heavy in my street, my nephew would tell you this. He was joking with me one time. He said, Uncle, I remember, when it was time for prayer, we don't care where you were, you would yeah. put a car over, right. get in the parking lot, <laughs> right. and pray. Someone might deem that as right. radicalism. Exactly, right, exactly. Okay, let me specify. This is me right. as a man, mm -hmm. not the white man, not nobody. Say, I'm saying, I'm, this is from Black Sun. But how do you measure somebody's faith, son? And no, tell them that I, it's no, go ahead I'm and make a statement. Go ahead and make, make a statement. statement. Go ahead. I'm saying, I'm declaring right now that any ideology is not worth a human life. That's what that, I'm saying. That's what I, that comes that's from not me. The Rad that's that's radical I'm to me you, is when you cross the line of taking somebody's life because they believe differently than you. Every if that's the case, then the whole world will be wiped out. Well, that's right. where we're headed. Everybody believes I mean, something different. But listen, they they what country they live in, in. Wait a minute. Hiroshima. Nagasaki. So you're going to feed Wait a minute. That. Hold on. Hiroshima, <laughs> Nagasaki. That nuclear bomb was dropped on those Get people because of doing. ideology. Look what you're doing, you and Yanga keep referring to the white man. I'm talking to you as a okay, man, right. talking to him as a man. Right. man y'all keep y'all keep following after this. But white we're man. talking you about philosophy here. Let me ask y'all this. Let me Damn. ask both of y'all this. Do you agree with or can talk or condone the attacks that happen in Paris? Denounce because it. because you're saying. That there are these factions that have the right to feel the way they feel and do what they have to do to protect their the, the their image belief. of them and their, uh, their profit and their belief. Well, let me you know say, let I mean? me answer that question by saying how the Creator Allah or the Creator Yah or the Creator period, whatever you call him, moves an individual is the Creator's will and not my own. I would not do that's that. That's not, no, that, no, the devil well, made me let, do it. Hold on, the right, now I was about to say, no, uh, with man. that. I mean, and y'all trying to love, y'all trying, what, you, what you're trying to, what nobody will fall into is is going against, uh, like he said, you know, how people move is how people move, but this is what I want to state. Okay. When you say ideology is not worth human, human life. life. When you have, okay, so if you have a man mess with a child. Hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? At that's what an point? Action. At what? I'm so like, you get well, seduction. So you get. So you get. So you get seduction. But your ideology, his ideology, may be there's a man, law, boy, love. There's a land. There's Greeks a law and Romans. Land. Greeks and Romans. What law right. of the land? Pedophilia. What? That's a law. That's a law that has been imposed. You got people sick in the head right. that actually love little children. That's right. And do that's things. And so, doing right. Right. so the so Roman you say, Catholic Church. Exactly. Church. So this is what I'm asking. <laughs> so you don't Roman believe in Catholic you don't believe in the devil. You, you, you don't believe in the devil. You don't believe in see to no, say taking a human life. 
for taking a human life. That's ideology. There's some people that don't exactly. believe in the death penalty. What? No, that's for goddamn public safety. You How is that? Pro- that's your ideology. Because that exactly. person might come kill me and you and everybody that's, else. That's, it's your, still that's ideology. your ideology, it's brother. Still no, ideology. That's ideology. That's safety, you got people man. that, that oppose the death, death penalty. If people, well, you're right. You're right. You're right. So, and that's their ideology. Right. That's right. Right. So there's no way that ideology, However, if right. you live in a you civilized society, any ideology is going to have a day where they take human life. A drunk driver getting on 285. Fully drunk is not an ideology. They will run over and kill exactly. you. Exactly, and it, but that the is ideology not, is safety. the ideology is if you say that he should be killed for it. Exactly. All right. You know, Any exactly. law laws are ideology, exactly. brother. Exactly. Well, you know, so what, human what, life is always taken for ideology. Absolutely. It's just okay, right okay. now yeah, that Islam has been made the enemy. Exactly. Let me, let me ask you this. That's right. I'm gonna segue into that. Islam has been made the enemy. That's right. Now, since the attack on Paris, there's been two movements. Yes. We had the uh, Unity March in mm-hmm. Paris, which yes. was January 11th, which is where we had leaders from all over the world That's right. come to <coughs> Paris. Absolutely. They're walking arm in arm, mm-hmm. uniting against terrorism. radical Islam, yeah. terrorism, and this, yeah. that, and other. Mm-hmm. A week later, you have protests, you have Muslim protests mm-hmm. all around the world. The largest one was 800,000 protesters in Chechnya. Chechnya. And they're protesting white folk. They're protesting uh, Charlie Hebdo, yes, mm-hmm. and yes. how he's con- how the magazine is constantly tearing down and just insulting the Prophet Muhammad. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? So, what I'm concerned about because Muslims are being demonized right now with exactly. America, American Sniper that movie exactly. just came yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Straight, yes. propaganda straight propaganda against the kingdom. You know, Muslim, yeah. Don't you know forget I mean? the kingdom. They talking about it. Yeah. It's increasing that hatred. But exactly. Right. Right. It is. It is. exactly. I, agree. I, agree. I agree. I was watching Fox News. Lord knows why. <laughs> but I was watching Fox <laughs> News last week and they had this segment where they were talking about Muslims, radical Muslims, right. terrorists, and this, that, and right. the other. And everything they said was so inflammatory, it right. was ridiculous. And then right. this is what they did. They put a shot up of the world leaders marching in uh, Paris. Mm-hmm. Yes. Then they showed the angry Muslims and stuff protesting around the world. Right. Then they showed the uh, world leaders mm-hmm. protesting in March Paris. Right. Then they showed, then they showed somebody, right. uh, another Muslim group mm-hmm. protesting. Mm-hmm. Then they showed them again, another Muslim group. Mm-hmm. Pro- and it was like, it was so ominous. It was like this class. Yeah. That they oh, setting people. it up. Right. They're setting it up, it up for I mean, a class. Yeah. That's the same thing they did in Ferguson. Let me just say this. And it was interesting because when they had all these world leaders over there in Paris, y'all's president didn't show up. Right. And as well, a reason, and, 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 you know, <laughs> But wait a minute now. And now you're leading right into my next comment okay. because okay. Benjamin Netanyahu, BB, I think, BB, he, he, as he's yeah, affectionately yeah. being called right, the pit right. bull of uh, <laughs> Israel, of Israel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, was invited on these shores without the president even knowing what was going on. Because and then he's your a boy, Muslim. And then your boy Mo- Boner, Boehner or whatever Boehner. his name is, <laughs> turned around and said, we don't even need to have homeboy's permission. He's supposed to be the president. We're talking no, ideology no. now. Wait a See, right, we're getting right no, back no, to no, the no, issue no, of we're ideology. Talking we're talking about democracy, Gideon. Wait a minute, we're homeboy. Then democracy. democracy is supposed to be an order. Yeah. And, the, okay. and the chief seat is commander in that think That's what he's called, the commander, commander in chief. chief. Right. Okay. And if the commander in chief is not involved, don't even know yeah. that BB is coming to town, this pit and, bull, this and, thug right. in Israel, then what has happened with your democracy? Absolutely, this is called a balance of powers, Gideon. You uh, might want to pick. It's wait a minute, how is it balanced when you're talking know. about that? I mean, they, they broke uh, D.C. protocol, Washington, D.C. protocol. Absolutely. By, Thank, by, you. By, okay. uh, Thank you. Thank you. Subterfusion right. going around the, the uh, president's okay. back exactly. and setting up this, setting up this uh, meeting with was supposed to be one of our biggest and key allies, allies. Right. but he's going to circumvent the president Come of the United on, States and go behind and then align himself with the Republicans exactly. Yeah. because the Republicans... Control the House and the Senate. Know you know and, what I mean? And it's election time coming up over there in, exactly. in Israel. So what he's doing, even the reason why he went to the Unity March, which he was asked to not come mm. by <laughs> France themselves, they asked him mm. not to come. Come on. Uh, because they knew he was going to come over there doing political proliferation and, and all that's this stuff. That is so straight up. It is. The first thing he did when he got to the Paris Unity March, he made sure he inserted himself right in front of the march, you know, to get the cameras mm. and all that stuff. And then he gave a speech later on that night where he basically 
uh, demonized Palestinians. Yep. Yeah. He basically <laughs> said, well, uh, well, what well, happened well, here well, in Paris is what we go through every day yeah. right, in right. Israel. And exactly. then not only was he demonizing uh, the Palestinians, but he was recruiting. Mm -hmm. Like exactly. he's over there in Europe trying to tell all the Jews in Europe to come on home to Israel. Right. And, but why he's doing it, what is he doing with that though? He, He's nationalism. building his numbers. Yeah. Yeah. That is what he's doing. Right. Europe and America need to be on notice that this man has his own plan agenda. and his own agenda, yeah. that's and right. he's going to do whatever he has to do to get it done. And that's a they problem. Can't see it. They too busy chasing that. They too busy no, chasing. I want to hear black response to that. You always talking about democracy, democracy. You talk about order. You talk about council. Here's the number one governmental system set up, right. and they don't even go to the head of their own council. Well, well, let me just say this, because the Palestinians are, they're terrorists. And, you know, we try to do- By whose work, decree? But by, by, Thank by, you. By, <laughs> I, I, will, I will tell you, by whose decree. You know, uh, the head of Hamas, his son, his, by head, his decree, he has declared, and I quote, Islam, the prophet Muhammad is gangster. Islam okay. is gangster, mm. end quote. Mm. So, to justify what I just said, the son of the founder of Hamas mm -hmm. has said that they were a terrorist organization. Mm -hmm. This comes from his son, Gideon. Okay, okay. but how did that answer the question about the subterfuge and them going oh, around? You mean the overriding? No, no, I, I don't, I'm not with the overriding go, going, you know, going to Boehner. I'm not with that. You know what I'm saying? Because we do have a protocol here in America. However, I do not object to him going to France. You know what I'm saying? I don't object to that because at the end of the day, Benjamin Netanyahu has to defend Israel. You know what I'm saying? You got radicals all around. Defend the, Israel. He ain't yeah, defend defending Israel. Honey, he first of all, his mouth. First of all, first of all, first of all, <laughs> on, let Mike. me say this on oh, man. Boy, I know feds going to be outside. First of all, Israel is illegal. It's the Palestinian's land. 1948. Second, 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 secondly, it's not about defending. He still is expanding and taking and claiming territory with Come these on. illegal settlements. Exactly. So it's not about his whole thing is if he can portray the Muslims as terrorists, he can justify this continual acts of genocide right. Right. against the Palestinian people. And we have to be, and us as Africans here in America, have to be aware of that. Because they're doing the same, the same thing, thing to us. Right. Yeah, you've right. got to understand. We Come on. the Palestinians' mm -hmm. citizenship in our country. Yeah. In what yeah. country? In, in Israel. You need to speak up. We having to turn your yeah, mic up. Right. Now you done went down we, into right. your, in your Palestinian we, voice. Well, you know, I, I, it's like I was saying, we offer we offer citizenship to the Palestinians. But like people. I said before, that's like someone coming into my house and saying, look, we got the house, but you can live in the bathroom. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you paying the mortgage. Yeah, you paying the mortgage. <laughs> this your crib. But I'm going to let oh, you in the bathroom. Yeah, man. man. See, man. Well, what, what you just Go ahead, Vince. I want to say this about this discussion that we're having surrounding Muslims. And it, it goes to the point that you made earlier. You can't take a few bad apples and label the, the entire, entire group of people. Okay, so can, can I say this? Because it's been done people. to us. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. exactly. You know what I mean? Okay. It's been done to us black, as a yeah. black people. Exactly. Okay. And anybody else that America deems terrorist, terrorist radical, or not, or not part of their clique. Exactly. You know what I mean? And so we have to be mindful of that because in the media, especially Fox News, they want to lump everybody, everybody. in the same exactly. like They're not trying to we, distinguish we not, like, Sunni from Shia or none of no. that. They just Muslims. Every, Muslims right. are all Muslim terrorists, not yeah, terrorists. Exactly. Right. Muslim but let me say this. And half the people that have these preconceived notions have not read Quran, mm -hmm. have not read up on Islam. Right. When you look at these mass conversions, like after 9-11, they were, man, Muslims was running for left and Their right. Their life. They were, people were beating them, this and that. <laughs> then all of a exactly. sudden, look at the statistics. When you got a chance, I'll research and look it up. Then all of a sudden, you had this mass conversion. Right. In America, a lot of people were accepting Islam. Why? You go to Barnes and Nobles or Quran, you couldn't find the Quran on the show. Because people wanted to know what possessed these people to do all this stuff. And they went to study mm -hmm. and started finding out, mm -hmm. damn, it's nothing like what the news is portraying. Right. They found the way of peace. Mm -hmm. They found the way of harmony. They found mm -hmm. a good dietary life, like uh, Brother Gideon was saying, which, and, and I will allow, and what I love about Gideon, come on, because, like you said, the Hebrew Israelites and the, and the Muslims, almost a dietary, worship this and that, or like, brought from, from one. Israel or this side. I, I mean, they, <laughs> don't to me, it's funny, <laughs> it's funny to even see them fight across the Middle East, because, right. you know, I can go somewhere and people ask me that. Right. Are you a Hebrew? It's like me. I mean, some of the, when I started reading some of the stuff, some of the dietary, 
It's, I'm, I'm just talking. I'm not just talking about our skin. It's I'm talking the leadership about in the various faction in Hebrew yeah. community and the Muslim community that promote the division. Yeah. So they can keep the power for themselves. Oh, okay. At the end of the day, the philosophies are basically the same because uh, well, Islam came out of Judaism. Listen, We're listen. one. And the, one, the unity that all mankind has to come is going to come from the peace that's in is, is, no, that is in Islam it. and the peace that is in Judea, Judaism Hold because on. it all comes from the Creator. Let, the peace that is in Buddhism, the okay, peace that is in so Hinduism, is peace, all, that's going to be one. All peace in these religions, why are we fighting so much? Why is there so much Capitalism. Is there all all peace. Capitalism. All these yeah. I'm not a religious person. Let me just say that right Politics. now. It's I'm, about I'm, spirit. I'm a spiritualist. Yeah, I, I, I am as well. I'm, I'm, but you believe in Jesus. But not the way these people have, uh, not Religion. the way Jesus has been taught. But I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. And this is not issue. to knock. And that's all Americanized. This is not to knock the spiritualist. We had this conversation at the house one time with the Shouts out to my man Tahura for working them cameras right there. Tahura! Big shout out to his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm positive. That to me, don't get offended. Let's put spiritualism is just a cop out. Mm -hmm. It is a weak cop out to say that I have a connection with God, but I'm not going to discipline you. myself. It's just my opinion, no, no, and, no, my, I'm and that I'm not going to discipline myself. Religion is well, only a set of a oh, religion. Oh, okay. Religion is only a set of practices mm -hmm. that one does continuously. Right. So we oh, have religion. That's right. That's my, right. My, my spiritual path has been nothing but discipline. Exactly. Just, I don't do the dietary. The, the, I'm not the, the the church, the book. I'm not you talking about I mean? the guys. My, my, my personal. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, beca because you did mention the the uh, discipline yeah. of the principles. I am very disciplined in the principles. Yes. What, what, are, what are the I principles of spiritualism? Wait a minute. Before my you go there, though, is to be a humanist and love your fellow man. See, there you go. I give anybody. See, but here, here's what I'm saying. This is what spiritualism. Spiritualism is. You got to understand about religion. And why religion came about? Religion came about especially to a barbaric people in a time. Religion They're came still to, barbaric. to civilize, religion came to civilize and to and to, and to unify. Barbaric. No, to religion unify. called the separation. Religion yeah. called separation over here in America because no. America. No. It, it ain't just America, America that religion so let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Religion Let me tell you why. Which is why I don't identify. Let me tell you why. It, because you're over here in the most. I take tenants from every. When you when you I'm gonna tell you why. When imperialism was spread, religion separated in Arabia. Religion didn't separate because you was in Arabia, you didn't know about all that, it was Islam. Mm -hmm. When you was in uh, uh, Jerusalem or wherever you was, when it was uh, the, from the, uh, Hebrew, it's like when you was in Hebrew. What time what period? Saying, what time period? Any time period. When, when, no. when you, but let me, when, go ahead, let me jump in here with Vince right here because okay. see, I respect this brother's intelligence to such a degree that I praise the creator for giving him such. But when you do the research that this brother does mm -hmm. and still call uh, this apostate name Jesus, it means that you haven't done the research to define the original historical, etymological, yeah. and geographical area from which Yahshua came from. That's your belief, a, No, that's not a belief. That is a that belief. Is a, no, it isn't. No, that okay. is first historical. All, first of all, it, first of all, it's man, a historical. Let's get us a, let's let me say us this a, real quick. Let I'll me say this for again. <laughs> Since you want to talk about research, Gideon. Yes, sir. Pope Francis yes. has came out and said that the Bible is allegory. Yes, he it's did. It's allegory. And my, politics. My, it's my, all politics. My, my spirituality does not come from a book. Yeah. My spirituality comes from a personal this, relationship and a connection exactly. with God. That's, it that's, has that's nothing exactly. to do with the church. It has yeah. nothing that's what to I'm do saying, with the but book, it, it, yeah. whether it's the Bible, the Quran, or whatever. And here's what I'm saying is. about spirituality. Because spirituality, like I said, when we're going to wrap it up. Yeah. Because in the spirituality, you can have a man that sleep with 100 women, yeah. can do all the drugs he want to do. Uh -huh. And hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Why you can't? If you say no, then it's a religion. But then, what well, if you tell him what he can't do with spirituality? But what this is, wait a minute. No, 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 no. God has convicted me personally you. into the. But you can't tell the next man that he can't do it. I don't ever tell anybody that But wait a minute. Let's get back to the Muslim thing. I don't tell anybody that can't do anything. But see, this is it. What he's the, what Vince has just proven is the reality of those individuals that went into uh, whatever this publications was hep because dope. he said hep dope. Yes, because the, the individual spirituality and your individual connection made you disciplined. 
their individual spirituality and connection make, make them go in there and blow that. Okay, okay. I, I, I can, I can get. <laughs> I can get. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can agree with that. There you go, then. I'm about to do a baby. I'm about to invent a new religion today. Any man who kills another man of another ideology, you will get drunk. Now that I do not condone, I do not believe in killing because somebody believes. Let me say this: rest in peace to the victims of the attack. Yeah, yeah. My heart goes out to their family. But what about our family? Right. Let, my camera real quick. And <laughs> Islam, let me say, let me say in the instant of Islam that you cannot judge the way of life or people's way of life by a few practitioners. Exactly. I'm not condoning, I'm not condemning, exactly. but it is the people's like Gideon's so, so adequately so so adequately summed it up, the people's individual relationship with Allah right. and how they interpret the scriptures right. of God right. exactly. you know enforce their actions. But leave the hands off the Muslims. Mm. That's what'll get us caught. Hey. That's what'll get us caught. Take us out. Take us out, man. Denounce oh, some terrorists. We, we, oh, we, we're about to be out. I love everybody. Yeah, love. Love uh, is the love answer. Is Key. The answer. It's the love. God I'm damn, with that. Drones are the goddamn. Nuclear weapons. You're a capitalist, man. That capitalism <laughs> is destroying the planet, destroying yeah, the air, destroying the water, right. Right. and <laughs> making people come at each other with death and, on their and mind. And We're still on drones, the air. Man. When you yeah, make drones, make sure that black men. Arena uncensored. Uncensored, baby. Hey. Yeah, I'm talking about. We may not. After this show, we may be censored. Oh, yeah. They might be in here with the Suits on next week, so like a man in black. Your yeah, niggers doing too much there, Yeah, I'm saying. But it also shows we have an international flavor oh, that yeah. you can say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to look at the council. Respect. Respect. Yeah, respect. 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 But your president don't deal with the council himself. Respect. Respect. You know what I'm saying? I'm not concerned about the president. I'm yeah. concerned about this council right here. Yeah, you know no doubt. So as long as my mm-hmm. brother, you know. Yeah, we out. Hey. Flame on, baby. But <laughs> that, was, that was a 